was sitting right here. It was not, this was not what was making the call though. It was definitely the uh, forktail drongo because I heard the mechanical <laughs> afterwards. Well, not that a drongo makes that sound. It was sitting right in here. I didn't, and as I hit the brakes, it flew. We'll find it again. I think it was the pearl spotted this time. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, where'd you go? Let's have a quick look here. I'm sure we'll get it. It just flew. I didn't see where it landed. Let's quickly let's go around the corner here. Now this is the hard part because as you saw with Byron, those outlets are tiny. They really are not something that stands out quite easily. They blend into uh, well, what's left of the vegetation and all of the, the branches and things. Oh, there it is. I've got it. Sebastian, we're going to do silhouette though. It's here on that silver cluster leaf. You see it? Now, I only spotted it because... Not because it's a pearl spotted eyelet. I spotted it because it, there's a silhouette of it against the skyline. But before... Okay, there we go. Let's see if it is though. No, it's the bard. It's not even a pearl spotted outlet, it's another bard outlet. Cool. That's all right. I don't mind that. So there we go, Byron. We didn't raise you anything. We, uh, well, we're on par, aren't we? How great is that? Now, the reason why it's not a pearl spotted outlet is because if you look at the back of its head, you can't see the two black spots that a pearl spotted owlet has this sort of fake eyes to make anything that's wanting to predate on it think that it's actually staring at it um, but now this is when the barred owlet sorry I'm just trying to rest the spotlight on the steering wheel so I can keep it still um, no I think that's still the drongo calling and off it goes it's looking around it's just landed on the next tree quite far away now my spotlight it helps a little bit here you try and get it a little bit. Um, it's looking for insects, just as Byron's one was, diving down into the grass, hoping to catch a grasshopper or a driver ant, because I have seen a few driver ants this morning. They were in the shower, actually. I showered with the driver ants. It was wonderful. It was so great. And uh, I, w I wish I had this barred outlet in the shower with me. It would have had a tasty snack, and I wouldn't have had those things on my toes. And that was quite unpleasant. Um, but, uh, but I suppose that's a normal thing when you leave a window or door open. <laughs> Gabby, you said that this is amazing. Two hours in one night. It is pretty special. It's uh, not every day that we get to see something like this. Look at it. How amazing is that? Almost being able to turn its head completely 360 degrees. Now it's dived down in the grass again and you've already had that experience with Byron trying to find the owl once it goes into the grass. Unless it flies back up to its perch, which it just has. Well, nice. It was obviously unlucky. I don't think it got anything that time around. But they're really small. Now, where I'm from, in the Eastern Cape, these are very special birds to see. Oh, it did catch something. It did catch something. Sneaky. It, holding it in its talons. Nice. I wonder what it caught. It could be anything. It's, it's um, discarding parts of this insect that it doesn't seem to enjoy. So you saw exactly that. Landing, oh, I can't keep the spotlight in the same place. Landing down on the ground, catching its meal, and then eating it back on a perch. Oh, it was a cricket! Mm -hmm. A massive cricket! That is great! Well done. Very impressive. Swallowing that big meal whole, just pulling off a couple of legs, I presume. So those are those crickets that are making all the noise at the moment. Actually, if, I, if you listen, you can hear one calling now. Or stridulating. Hear that? Off it goes again. That was so cool. So that's the cricket making that sound that we just saw that African barred owlet catch. Really amazing. So I was telling you, 